Some of you were very quick to point out that you need to test the heart rate accuracy while working out in our heart rate accuracy test video. And the wait is over as we were already busy making that video. So in this video, we will be comparing the GPS and heart rate accuracy of GTR4 with Garmin 4Runner 245 Music. So I will be wearing my 4Runner on my left wrist and Amazfit on my right wrist. Let's start with the specifics. Before beginning my run, Amazfit GTR4's battery was 71% and Garmin 4Runner's battery was 77%. Sorry for the shaky frame, I was filming by myself that's why the video is shaky. As you can see, this video is before beginning of the run. And this is me 26 minutes into my run and as you can see, I have covered 4.15 kilometers. Once the workout was over, I got this summary. Amazfit calculated it to be 8.13 kilometers and Garmin calculated it to be 8.12 kilometers. Similarly, the pace record on Amazfit was 7 minutes 6 seconds kilometers per hour on Amazfit and 7 minutes 7 seconds kilometer per hour on Garmin. So both the watches are pretty close and accuracy is pretty good in at least these two departments. Before I dive deep into the tracking, let's talk about battery consumption first. Garmin 4Runner 245M, which is 15 months old at this point, was sitting at 77% battery before my run and is now 59%. So almost an hour of activity will set you back 18% of your battery. Amazfit GTR4 which was 71% before the beginning of the run is now sitting at 64%. So one hour of activity will cost you only 7% on Amazfit GTR4. So Amazfit GTR4 is better right? Actually no, Amazfit GTR4 here is benefiting from the bigger battery present on it. Garmin 245 Music uses a 180mAh battery which means 18% of the battery equals 32.4mAh of battery consumption. On the other hand, Amazfit GTR4 battery size is 475mAh and 7% battery consumption means that it uses 33.5mAh of battery for 1 hour of run. So I would consider Amazfit to be as efficient as Garmin and not more during outdoor sports tracking which is truly impressive. Plus, a bigger battery means less run-in with the charger. By the way, don't forget to press that like button if you are enjoying the video. It really helps me stay motivated and make more videos like these. Coming back to the video, let's now compare the heart rate and pace kilometer recorded by Strava on both the Garmin and Amazfit watches. Let's start with the pace first. For the first kilometer, it is 5 minutes 57 seconds per kilometer in Garmin and 6 minutes per kilometer in Amazfit. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth kilometer are more or less the same. There are only minor differences in my seventh and eighth kilometer. As you can see, in the calculation of your speed, Amazfit is pretty good. Similar to pace per kilometer, there is a slight variation in the heart rate recorded on Garmin. It is higher for the first kilometer. Second to eight kilometer heart rate readings are pretty much the same on both the watches. So I would say Amazfit definitely tracks heart rate quite accurately during the workout. I am not saying it is more accurate than a chest based strap but it is still pretty good. One area where Amazfit had a clear upper hand over 245M was in the GPS navigation department. Let's also talk about GPS settings on GTR4 quickly. I did all my GPS accuracy tests using the accuracy profile on Amazfit GTR4. By default the watch is set to dual band mode but you can switch to single band if you want. You can also select different satellite navigation combinations. So you can select low power GPS if you are on a multi day trek. GPS, BDS plus GPS, Galileo plus GPS, GLONASS plus GPS or all satellites at once. Select the combination you find the best fit for you. The default accuracy profile is kind of overkill so I would recommend switching to a balanced profile. It will be GPS plus GLONASS same as the Garmin 4Runner which should be good enough for most users. However, if you are running between trees and high rise buildings, then the accuracy profile with dual band GPS will be the ideal choice. You can also create your own custom combination on Amazfit GTR4. To find these options, go to settings, workout and GPS settings. Accuracy profile uses all the GPS at once. 
Balance profile will use single band GPS plus GLONASS combination. Power saving is suitable for long treks. Custom is when you want to use some other GPS combination. By the way, this dual band GPS is available on Garmin 255. It's just that is way more expensive right now. So what is this dual band GPS? You might be wondering. To explain it simply, single band GPS uses the L1 frequency band to communicate with the satellite. On dual band GPS, support for an additional L5 frequency is added. This basically means that instead of being able to communicate with satellites only on one channel, the watch can communicate on two. And it can communicate with multiple satellites to get your position. And to you, it means better accuracy while tracking your sports activities. Enough geeking about the GPS chip. Let's explore the Garmin Connect and Zep app. The reason for that is to compare the analysis of both the watches. The estimated number of calories burnt according to Amazfit is 759 and according to Garmin it is 749. The pace is 7 minutes and 6 seconds per kilometer on Amazfit and 7 minutes 7 seconds per kilometer on Garmin. Both the watches can track your average pace and best pace and results are pretty much the same with a slight difference in the best pace. There is no speed metric on Amazfit. Talking about the elevation, the total ascent on both the watches is the same. Despite Garmin lacking an altimeter, Garmin relies on GPS data to track your altitude. Garmin also offers an estimated fluid loss metric that is not present on Amazfit GTR4. Both the watches also offer a breakdown of heart rate and speed per kilometer. Along with that, you get plenty of charts on both the watches. The maximum and average cadence is same on both the watches. You also get the training effect which showcases the training effect of workout on your body. If you don't know what all these metrics mean, then I will suggest you to check our smartwatch metrics explain video. There are some of Garmin's own metrics as well like performance condition. This basically shows you your performance when it is compared to your average fitness level. So guys, that was it for today. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. What do you think? How was the Amazfit GTR4's performance in this accuracy video? And don't forget to click on the subscribe button as I will be coming out with Amazfit GTR4 in-depth review soon. See you next time.